Out of an installation of your cockpit cover. Once removed from the bag, lay your drainage pole aside. You need to locate the front of the cover. This can easily be done. You unroll the cover to look for the ID leak. This will always be in the seam towards the front of the cover. To begin attaching the cockpit cover to the windshield, it is critical you find center. Normally there will be a center seam in the cover. If not, fold the cover in half side to side in order to locate and mark center. To install your cockpit cover to the windshield, now that you've located the center of the cover, find the center of your windshield. You'll install either a center snap, or as in this case, there's a snap on either side of the center. And attach those. come out approximately three to four snaps off center to both port and starboard. Then you want to go to the rear of the boat and start with the center there. Now that you came to the back of the boat, once again, it's critical you start with center. In the case of this boat, it has a bungee cord. It will attach center. If your boat comes with snaps, you do the same thing. Locate center stud, mark it with a grease pencil, and then install your snap. In order to install the rear corners, it's helpful to have an additional person. This way you can make sure you keep the cover centered and it's not pulled too far to one side. You want to go to the rear corners. Pulling back on a diagonal pull from the front center and attach those. This is where an additional person is helpful in keeping your front cover centered side to side. Once you have it held in place, you want to take your white grease pencil, mark the center of the stud onto your canvas, install your snaps, and attach to your windshield. Now that the front and rear centers and your front and rear corners are attached, you can use the same process of marking each stamp onto your cover with a black grease pencil down each side of the boat. That would complete the installation of your cover. Now that you have your snaps in your cover and everything's installed, the most critical part of this installation pro uh, process is installing your drainage pole. Just with a quick, easy cam lock, you need to go underneath the cover, locate the snap patch underneath the cover. The pole attaches to that. This will prevent any water pulling on your cover. Okay. An additional feature you can add to your cockpit cover is our hang tight suspension system. This is used in place of the standard drainage pole. There's a rope hook that can be added to the underneath of your radar arc or hard top. You simply attach the hang tight rope to the hook. Use the rope on the right pulley system to raise your cover into place for proper water drainage. of your front curtains, always insert the balance, zippered balance, into your track. Uh, it can be helpful to have a second person assist, but you can pull it through by yourself. 
once it's inserted, if your balance came with a snap, always attach that. Go to the other side and snap the other uh, side. That way you're keeping your balance centered and your curtains even. One tip when attaching your curtains to your balance, keep your fingers between the Velcro of the curtain and the balance. It'll make it much easier to start the zippers. When installing your front curtains, begin with the center section and then work your way outward. When starting the zippers, never completely zip all of them until you have each individual curtain attached. Then you can finish. Begin the snap process of the curtains. First time center of the windshield with a tape measure. If you have access to a wipe grease pencil, that's preferable to use as it will wipe off. Once you've located center, align your curtain. The center of that, you want to use your grease pencil to mark the center of the screw stud that is already in your windshield onto the canvas. Or approximately three to four of these off center. Then you can come back with the snap tool and install those. Now that you have all the snap locations marked on your curtains, you can start the install process by taking the socket portion, placing it onto the snap tool die until you hear it snap in place in the upper snap head. Goes into the upper die. Place that over the white mark you made in the canvas. Squeeze the tool together until it clicks. And then you have a release lever. The snap is now installed. Now that you have all your snaps properly crimped into the curtain, in order to attach them to the stud, it's normally easier to use your thumb, place the snap on an angle at the back edge of the stud, and roll it down to snap. Now that all your curtains are snapped in place, the last detail is going back and making sure all the Velcro closures are sealed down smooth. 